In a previous video, I did a repair and a refurbishment on this Commodore PET business keyboard. And if you watched that video, you may have noticed that there was no shift lock key in there for most of the video. And that was because I was taking it apart, putting it back together, but it was also because the shift lock key on this keyboard is broken. Uh, this is the condition I received it in. Uh, it makes contact, but it doesn't latch. And worse yet, it sticks. So if you push it down, it's stuck. And you have to put something under there to pry it back up again. So in a way it locks, but you know, it's probably better that it isn't even in there. So I took the switch apart, the key switch for that, and tried to repair it, but uh, the latching mechanism is broken and it's just too far gone. So... Just recently I went online looking for a replacement key switch for it and surprisingly I found one. got this from an eBay seller who got it from a disassembled Kremenko keyboard. The latching mechanism works on it and the contacts work. Uh, it's not very clicky but it works so it's a lot better than what's in there now. So I'm going to take this switch out and replace it with this one. That was easy. I already desoldered the wires from the back of it. This is the old one, and this is the new one. This appears to be the exact same switch. If you've never uh, tried to work on one of these switches before, I'm going to show you how to take it apart because I sure spent a lot of time trying to figure it out myself. These contact pins here unscrew, so if you twist them, counterclockwise, it should thread right out like this. And then you have the mechanism. There's a spring, or a little retaining pin, and the mechanism in here. It's a couple of contact pads that the pins screw into. The plunger itself, so right here's the contact, and you can see that move when the plunger goes in. But over on this side here, is the latching mechanism. And the previous owner of this keyboard must have super glued this in there because I can't get this out. And uh, the latching mechanism is broken anyway. So the switch is pretty much shot. There are a couple of alignment protrusions here in the recess there, so this goes together just like that. Push the pins back in, give them a push and twist. Sticky. Put that aside. Check this one out. The retaining clips on the sides seem to be intact. I don't know what this discoloration is, but uh, you should be able to see the two holes in the circuit board back here for the pins to protrude through. And you put this in there, these pins aligned properly, and it should snap into place. Just 
just like that. If I push on the pins from below, it wants to come right out, which means those retaining clips are not holding it in place, but it should be fine as long as nobody pushes on it from the back side. Now we have to solder the leads on here, and that is not as easy as it sounds. One of the things that can cause these switches to fail is too much heat on those pins. Those pins get too hot, they melt the plastic, and then the switch doesn't work anymore. I've got my soldering iron warming up set to 600 degrees, but I also want to minimize the contact time with the soldering iron. So I'm going to use liquid flux on here. Just a tiny drop. I tend these leads as quickly as I can. And then I'm going to let them cool. That's good enough. They're connected. Once again, I have the 8032 logic board installed inside the 4032 for testing. And let's see if that shift lock key works. A, S, D, F, G, all lowercase. Shift lock latches down. S, D, F, G, all uppercase. Shift lock release. Shift lock works. Go ahead and test all the other keys. Cursor key left, shift cursor key right. Right stop key causes a flicker. And the run stop key works. The tab key shifts the cursor all the way over to the other side of the screen. Q, W, E, T, P, bracket, slash, cursor down, shift cursor up, and delete. Escape does cause the cursor to flash. It's registering that key press. Shift lock we already tested. And the bracket. And the return key, of course. The reverse key causes reverse characters. Shift reverse. GXC. Repeat key, clear, shift clear, shift key on this side works, shift key on this side works, and the numpad all works, oh, and don't forget the space bar. Working shift lock, all working keys, keyboards 100%. Thanks for watching.